Now to the historic United Auto Workers strike. Nearly 13,000 union members walking off the job at midnight with no contract deal reached between the union and the top three automakers in the U.S. despite weeks of negotiations. Yeah, it's the first coordinated strike on all three U.S. automakers in the union's history. If it lasts a while, it could potentially cause car prices to go up. ABC's Rena Roy has the latest. Thousands of United Auto Workers on the picket lines with union members walking off the job at a GM plant in Missouri, an Ohio Stellantis plant and Ford plant in Michigan. I think uh, people are beginning to understand that you know we all need to make a fair wage. The targeted strike officially authorized at midnight Friday with no deal reached between the union and the top three U.S. automakers, GM, Ford, and Chrysler owner Stellantis. In the hours before, President Biden calling UAW President Sean Fain and company leaders in an effort to prevent the strike. No one wants a strike, but I respect workers' right to use their options under the collective bargaining system. And I understand the workers' frustration. The union asking for a 40% pay increase, a return to pension plans, better retiree health care, and cost of living adjustments. It's a shame we've got to be out here right now doing this because the companies won't take care of their workers. The companies calling those demands unrealistic, offering a 20% increase instead. We're putting a 20% uh, gross wage rate increase along with other bonuses that come as a part of that. So this is a very, very strong financial offer. A Stellantis spokesperson adds they are disappointed with the UAW's decision to strike and will take steps to protect their North American operations and the company. Jeffrey Purcell, a single father of three and president of the local 3039 in Tapan, New York, just north of the city, which is not striking, saying he stands in solidarity with the nearly 13,000 members who are on strike. This used to be a great job at a working class level where you can provide for your family and provide for your loved ones. We shouldn't be in a situation where we have to live check to check. And again, right now, this is a targeted strike at certain locations, but more members could soon join the picket lines. Rena Roy, ABC News, Tepan, New York. Well, President Biden did add his support to the auto workers union saying, quote, I believe they should go further to ensure record corporate profits mean record contracts for the UAW.